options. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. So in today's video, uh, we are going to take a look at the uh, electric car or autonomous car space and just see where we have um, other opportunities to invest. So if you take for, for instance, Tesla, that is currently trading at about $1,600 when I was doing this video, um, not everybody has that kind of money to invest in, in a company or to buy one share of a company. Even though Tesla is going through a five for one split, um, at the end of the day, the stock is still gonna be something over $300 a share. Um, and, and again, not everybody has $300 um, to put into one share. So uh, what are some of the other um, opportunities that you can actually invest in the EV space or autonomous car space that can still potentially give you some money? So um, we're gonna examine uh, suppliers for uh, some of these companies. So I'll, I'll take, for instance, Tesla, we're gonna examine six key suppliers that uh, you can definitely invest in and hopefully uh, get the growth as Tesla grows and become more mainstream. Maybe these companies are gonna require uh, to supply them even more products, which in turn is gonna drive their stock prices. So we're gonna take a look at six of the top. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so um again when you see a lot of these cars out there it's not like they just manufacture them in one uh plan or manufacturing plant they have different parts different suppliers so uh, basically they have a plan that assembles all these cars together and and then uh, just put it out there but uh, let's say you take your your tires they come from a different manufacturer your steering wheel comes from a different manufacturer right and your bumpers and everything all these different pieces comes from different manufacturers and then we put them together so um, again, those different manufacturers are companies that you can potentially uh, invest in and get some growth. So again, in this example, we're going to look at Tesla and look at some of their top six suppliers and see uh, if these are companies that you want to check out or see if you're interested, you can definitely expand your investment portfolio by uh, investing in these uh, different suppliers. So the first company on our list here is um, AGC um, Automotive. Um, this is a company um, that um, produces the glass that you see like windshield and the side glasses that you would see in uh, the Tesla cars. Um, so they manufacture all these glasses and they are actually uh, based out of um, uh, Japan. It's a, it's a Japanese uh, company based out of Tokyo, uh, Japan. So, um, I mean, like they, if you drive a Tesla, you see the glass, the, the, the windshield and all these other, anything glass, mostly on these cars, um, it's actually produced by this company. So uh, when I was doing this video right now, um, AGC is actually trading at about $5.75. Um, I think uh, it's because of the COVID. If you look back and see what COVID did to them, they took a really big hit uh, with COVID. Um, ever since then, they've been bouncing back um, from a high of over before COVID, they were trading a little bit over seven dollars and some change and then COVID came in they did that a little big dip here and then just popped back and now just somewhere uh, at about 575 so this is another great opportunity uh if you're looking to expand your portfolio um, again the company is um agc based out of tokyo uh japan um right now they are trading over the counter so um, most brokers are not going to have them. So uh, check with your broker and see if they have this particular stock that you can buy. Um, number two um, on the list here is Brembo. Brembo actually, um, I don't know if I'm saying the, na the name right, Brembo. Um, it's actually designing uh, braking systems for the car. So Tesla cars, um, this company builds the brakes and everything that you see um, in the car. So they supply Tesla and Brembo is... Um, it's a, a manufacturer based out of uh, Italy. Um, so it, they, they produce all the brakes that you would see in the Tesla cars um, somewhere in uh, Northeast um, uh, Milan in Italy. So uh, again, um, let's take a look here. Um, this is another one that trades on the Italian uh, stock exchange market. Um, again, if you look at their history here with uh, COVID, COVID actually uh, kind of pounded them. Uh, but prior to that, the stock had been kind of going down. I don't know 
um, why but it doesn't look like it was actually heading in the right direction even before COVID but this is another manufacturer that Tesla does uses for their braking system so let's move on to number three um, on, on the list here um, number three on the list is um, actually Fisher Dynamics so um, Fisher Dynamics uh, for for those of you um, they actually manufacture like the, the the seat and everything that you see in the car so they're um, all the different seats uh, now front and rear seat of the car that's what this company does manufacture um, power seats and all that good stuff um, I think this one is based out of uh, uh, Michigan if I'm not mistaken yes it's been out of uh, St. Clair Shores uh, Michigan so this is an American company and so they supply Tesla with all the seats that you see in there. So um, let's take a look at this. And uh, when I was doing this video, the stock was currently trading at about $417.47. Um, so another one to give them a shot and see. So number four on the list is Modine. Um, uh, Modine Manufacturing is a thermal management company that, that actually uh, helps with the cooling system of the, the battery that um, Tesla carries. So if you, normally the batteries get hot and you want those batteries to cool down as soon as possible. So um, Modine actually helps that uh, helps them cool down. So um, again, I think Modine is, it, this, this one too is an American company uh, based out of uh, Wisconsin. Um, and so check them out. Uh, let's take where they were trading prior to this. And if you see here, Modine has been taking a beating um, even before the, the crisis or before COVID. So up here at about $27 back in 2018. And then he's just been kind of going down. So it uh, looks like even COVID um, came in and gave them a little spark because they dropped here in March. And then it kind of started squeezing back up to a high of about six. And now when I was doing this video, they were trading at 687. And finally, number six on the group is a Sika Group. Um, so Sika Group is a company based out of Italy um, that supplies um, stuff that's used for bonding, sealing, and, and uh, damping or uh, reinforcing and protecting uh, the Tesla cars. So um, definitely go check them out. Again, this one, is actually uh, is trading in the Swiss um, uh, uh, stock exchange market and it's doing pretty good. So if we look at here, uh, prior to COVID, um, they didn't even take that much of a hit in COVID. As a matter of fact, um, let's see. Oh, they did take, sorry, I was looking in the wrong spot. So they took a big hit in COVID down to about uh, 130 something. And then since then, they've squeezed all the way up to right now $211.20 when I was doing this video. So those are the top five um, Tesla suppliers. Um, there is, an, uh, again, you probably said, like, hey, Tesla uses uh, uh, lithium batteries. Why didn't you talk about them? I'm gonna do a separate video on that. Uh, most of the lithium that Tesla uses or the supplier is uh, their Chinese companies trading out of the Chinese exchange, uh, stock exchange. So I'm gonna do a separate um, video on that. So just quick recap again here, we have uh, we have AGC, uh, we have Brembo, we have Fisher Dynamics, we have Modin, and we have Seeker um, that supply Tesla with all the stuff that you currently see. So as you can see guys, there's a tremendous amount of opportunities just based on the suppliers. And a lot of these companies just fly under the radar because Tesla takes all the spotlight because I mean, they actually assemble the cars and get all that spotlight. But the people that or the companies that supply them all the different things like, hey, think about you know, their windshield wipers and all that stuff comes from different companies and these companies are doing great. So like you, see, you saw uh, here in some of the examples. So uh, question of the day, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about these uh, uh, approach instead of going after Tesla that's super expensive um, looking to invest in the companies that supply Tesla that are under the radio that people under the radar that people don't really talk about let me know in the comment section again if you looking to get started with investing uh, we currently um, have a promotion right now with Weibo where you get two free stocks uh, just for signing up and depositing a hundred dollars I'm gonna put a link in the description below you can definitely go check them out um, and also if you do have any questions let me know in the comment section I always try as much as possible Possible to answer all my questions and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel YouTube tells me that 90% of you guys watching haven't already subscribed so do me a favor hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content and as always stay motivated